guys, what's up? Uh, we're going live from uh, my bathroom because uh, that's the only part of the apartment that I have light. And uh, I tried to record this video in my in my room, but it was too dark and it was it was really weird. Um, I want to start off tonight uh, with a really cute story from uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's called Allow Yourself No Retreat. Um, I don't have the story memorized, so I'll just go ahead and uh, listen to this guy from my iPod, and I'm just going to tell it to you, okay? So, the Allow Yourself No Retreat, that's the name of the story. A long while ago, a great warrior faced a situation in which he had to make a decision that ensured success on the battlefield. He was about to send his army against the powerful foe whose men outnumbered his. He loaded his soldiers into boats, sailed to the enemy's country, and unloaded the soldiers and equipment. Then he gave the order to burn the ships that had carried them. Addressing his men before the first battle, he said, You see the boats going up in smoke. That means we cannot leave these shores alive unless we win. We now have no choice. We win. sources of retreat. That is the only way you can be sure of maintaining a state, a state of mind named the burning desire to win. It is essential to success. Alright, so guys, that's the story. And uh, the reason I'm telling you this story, if you've been watching uh, my earlier videos, um, I said I was going to go to a Ferrari store and actually buy a Ferrari, you know, and um once I did that, the funny thing happened. Really funny thing. All right. As soon as as soon as I finish um, my my Ferrari purchase, which was like really exciting, <laughs> you might think of this guy's fucking crazy, but uh, I I totally did it. And what happened is, right afterwards, you know, I started thinking, and um, <clears throat> my intuition told me that. Um, I should make some phone calls. You know that I should make some fucking phone calls because that's the way I'm gonna make money. And it's it's I don't know. It's really weird that it's so uncomfortable to me to do that. And there's no big deal about doing it. So um, you know I've been also reading this book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And what happened in the book is um, the guy said that when you you know, when you start thinking that you're underpaid and you start sending signals to a uh, universe and to people around you um, to confirm that um, you're not supposed to be there, you know, at your workplace, if that makes any sense. And eventually the manager is going to approach you and get you fired, which um, I think once I set this law in, 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 in motion, the law of attraction, you know, once I express the desire to, once I purchase that Ferrari, um, that actually got me fired. I mean, not fired, but just, but just um, suspended for a, for a, for a while. But enough, so um, I'm not able to pay the rent. <laughs> so this might be my last. No, um, two more nights I have in this apartment, and then, and then like. Whatever happens, it happens. So, my subconscious burned my fucking bridges and ships. Do you guys see the, the, I don't know, maybe you don't see, but I, I see it so clearly that it's the same as, as from the story of Napoleon Hill. So, now <laughs> I have nowhere to go. It's either homeless or, uh, or, uh, or a fucking rich out of my mind. And, uh, I think I'm gonna go for the letter. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's 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 probably all I had to say tonight. It's um, I know I'm crazy, and you should probably not listening to what I have to say. But um, I guess if that's what it takes for success, then that's what I'm going to do. And 
I went to the movies, dude, and, and I was watching this movie. I don't even. It's like a hot top machine, hot top time machine, and um, in the middle of the movie, I started crying, and <laughs> it wasn't because of the movie. It was because of my current situation. And um, but then after the movie finished, you know, it's like I raised into another level where uh, nothing, not nothing. Uh, it's like why was I so scared even though I didn't do nothing? Yeah, it's it's fucking unbelievable. I love it. <laughs> All right, enough from me for tonight. And um, if you don't hear from me anymore, that means <laughs> I'm on the street. <laughs> Because there's no, or probably, oh, I should, or maybe probably, or maybe definitely, definitely, next time if you see me talking from Starbucks, <laughs> that means I don't have a house anymore. 